Hello and welcome to a Lifter LMS complimentary training. My name's Chris Badgett. I'm joined with special guests, Kurt Von Onen and Will Middleton from the Lifter LMS team. How are you guys doing? Right on, doing great. Good. We're gonna be doing a demo today of the Lifter LMS Sky Pilot theme, which is a new full site editing theme for WordPress. It's super modern. It's built exclusively for learning management web system websites. It looks gorgeous with Lifter LMS. We're going to kick off this training here in just a second. For those of you watching, go ahead and smash the like button and drop a comment wherever you're watching. Let us know where you're calling in from. Let us know if you have any questions about SkyPilot full site editing. We're going to have a Q&A session and really get into it today. Uh, welcome everybody. We are gonna be doing a recording. So you will get a replay email where you're gonna be able to review what we talked about here. If you have to jump early or you came in late, uh, you will get an email with the recording if you have registered through the registration link that we put out there. If you can't find that, just drop a comment wherever you are and we'll hook you up with the replay. Um, and also be sure to ask lots of questions. You know, a lot's changing in WordPress. It's evolving quickly. And uh, we're here on the cutting edge here at Lifter LMS, continuing to innovate, continuing to do things the WordPress way, embrace full site editing, the block editor, while also accommodating other ways of doing things. Like you can use SkyPilot with a page builder like Elementor or Beaver Builder or Divi as well. We're gonna talk about that today and I want to encourage you to stay to the end. We are going to be doing a giveaway. So if you're live, uh, we're on this call, we are going to be selecting a winner who's going to get a free sky pilot theme. So stick around to the end. And before I get started in the main presentation, which is how to create a beautiful course website with modern WordPress and the all new sky pilot theme, we do have an offer for you today. So if you get excited about Sky Pilot and you want to um, get yourself a copy, there's a couple ways to do it. There's a couple ways to test it out. I'm gonna hand it over to you, Kurt, for uh, let people know if they get excited about Sky Pilot, what can they do? Right on, Chris, thanks, man. Uh, first thing I wanna point out to folks is that Sky Pilot, uh, you know, as you said, Chris is fully released. We've got a page dedicated to it right here. Uh, Sky Pilot is just $99 a year. You can buy it now or you can bundle and save. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Uh, but if you look, you benefit from uh, an LMS only theme focus. And so when you see pages in this demonstration today about memberships and courses and, and all the stuff that LM, uh, Lifter LMS packs into a site, uh, you'll see how it's made, especially for this environment. Uh, you can leverage modern WordPress, so 6.2 and forward with full site editing fully compatible. Uh, when you take a look at our new dashboard, uh, I think you'll be blown away at the modern design that the, that the new dashboard has. Uh, and then of course, if you wanna kind of see a, an ongoing kind of resource for this, uh, Kim Coleman with the Lifter LMS team has this video here to uh, introduce everybody to the new theme as well. We've got more details at the bottom of the page that you can follow here. Uh, but if it's okay, I'd like to jump right over to pricing. And we'll take a look at different ways to bundle and save regarding the SkyPilot theme. So Lifter LMS, you know, we start out as a free core plugin. So for the free core plugin, obviously you get memberships and, and all that kind of stuff. But when you start jumping into uh, the Earth bundle, you're able to start selling your courses. And then when you get to the Universe bundle, you'll see that we have the SkyPilot theme included with that bundle. So for just $360 a year, you get access to build up to five websites, unlimited support for two users. Uh, you get that SkyPilot theme, the core plugin, and you also get e-commerce add-ons and marketing add-ons to help you really sell and generate revenue through your training site. And then of course our Infinity Bundle, well, that just has everything under the sun for you. So uh, those are the bundles that allow you to take advantage of the SkyPilot theme and save along the way. But if you just wanna try it out, you can take a look at trying the SkyPilot theme with the demo site, which is available through Lifter LMS for just 
one dollar for 30 days and uh i love this this is one of the best ways that i have for new clients or potential clients to try and figure out hey is running online courses or being a course creator the right choice for me and then of course is lifter lms the right choice for just a dollar you get to try out a, a fully powered website and give it a shot awesome well thanks for that kurt and i just want to kind of jump into some more of the big ideas around SkyPilot and what's happening here with full site editing in the Word WordPress world. So there's a lot of challenges people face when creating a learning management system website with WordPress. Uh, one of the biggest challenges is having an outdated theme. We know people's design preferences change. Typically people update their theme or their design every two years. Some themes are hard to customize without coding knowledge. Even if you do have coding knowledge, they can be it can be really challenging to, you know, really make the site look and display and do what you want it to do. Um, and there's also a lot of great multi-purpose themes out there, but they're not really designed for the e-learning industry specifically. So we took a, little, a different approach here. We build we built SkyPilot exclusively for e-learning and membership sites. Um, also, SEO evolves. The, the needs for performance and speed evolve on the internet. So it's important that the theme you choose is optimized for speed and SEO, which SkyPilot is. And then uh, in, in terms of what makes a full site editing really useful in this day and age is it gives you the ability to edit uh, your templates without coding. So that could be with a course template, if you want your course or your lesson layout to look a certain way, um, your, your dashboard, you can really start to customize that experience with a modern full site editing theme like uh, SkyPilot. Many themes also lack uh, or have very limited global styling options. So when you want to make kind of global changes to the look and feel of your website, um, it's difficult to do that, not with SkyPilot. Um, you can also create templates on the fly that don't even exist. So if you have a vision in your head um, of a certain type of landing page or some kind of marketing or funnel page or some kind of course, uh, you know, sales page or something, and you want to create it from scratch, you can do that with full site editing, SkyPilot, and without having to write any custom code. And then you can reuse that template wherever you want to use it and even modify the template and update it dynamically as time goes on. Um, and it's also important to have a more flexible and intuitive solution. So uh, we can't always keep up to date with modern tech, but it is important as time goes on to modernize your tech stack. And this is a, a really important opportunity to be able to do that. Um, and the cool thing is, is this is, it doesn't have to be super drastic. You can keep using page builders and make a transition. For example, uh, if you look at the Lifter LMS websites, like the Lifter LMS Academy site, that's built with SkyPilot, uh, the podcast built with SkyPilot. And uh, we've been doing a bunch of work on our main site, which looks completely different, which you should check that out. But they can coexist together. So if you have a lot of pages built with Divi or Beaver Builder or Elementor, you can still start using SkyPilot. We've seen some people in our community um, use SkyPilot kind of in the LMS part, you know, where the courses and the student dashboard and the lessons are. Um, and even though the theme is everywhere, they're still using um, the page builder uh, on other parts of the site, more informational pages. So you can keep, keep using page builders and make the transition slowly. It doesn't have to be this dramatic um, kind of big event. And then really, the big opportunity is to benefit from a theme that's not trying to sell the most copies by being a multi-purpose theme, but by uh, having a theme that is exclusively focused on e-learning and learning management system websites of what you're trying to do. So at a high level, um, uh, or I'm just gonna kind of dis discuss the full site editing uh, WordPress LMS experience and what that means. Um, so there's these uh, components of a website, modern WordPress called blocks, right? We've seen this, the Gutenberg block editor. Um, I've been watching many people 
make the transition over from the classic editor to this block way of thinking. And Lifter LMS as a leading learning management system in the WordPress ecosystem, very early on, like four years ago, when, when blocks were introduced, we started creating the components of courses and lessons that, um, you know, the, the block components that make up that structure of data, like for a course page, which might contain a syllabus, some access plans, course description, course categories, instructors, and so on. So I'm just kind of getting your, your um, understanding wrapped around this idea of how blocks work. So there's these different blocks that make up a custom post type. We also use them in, you know, creating um, content, you know, images and columns and, and all this. So that's what blocks are all about. And I'm going to pass it over to Will to explain uh, how to think about templates if you're kind of new to this idea of templates and template parts. And we're going to be doing a visual demo of all this in just a moment, but just to kind of get a high level overview of where we're at. Take it away, Will. How do you think about templates? Awesome. awesome. So yeah, templates are something that's existed in WordPress for since WordPress has existed, but it hasn't been exposed to the end user. Of course, PHP templates have been what we've used in the past, like WordPress has defined what a page looks like. It's got a header on the top, it's got a title, it's got the content of the page, and then it's got a footer. That template was in PHP, and if you know how to code in PHP, you could edit this template since WordPress has been around. But now with the block editor and the full site editing capabilities, the super exciting advancement is that you don't need to know how to use PHP in order to modify these templates. And I used an example of pages, but like Chris said, this applies to any structured data on the back end of a WordPress website, which is lessons, courses, custom post types, memberships, blog posts, and I'm sure there will be more to come in the future, but what we're doing at Lifter by creating the SkyPilot theme and leaning into this block editor is taking our components, like the syllabus block, the instructor's block, any parts of lessons, and we're turning these into blocks so you as the course creator and website builder have the power to not only use WordPress blocks to create the templates, but also your Lifter LMS components. So you can create a custom lesson template, a custom course template, if you have courses in a certain category that are supposed to look a certain way, you could do that by selecting on the back end of WordPress. And Chris, like you said, we'll do a demo here in a little bit of that where you designate for each course what template that's going to use. So you could have template one, which might have maybe a minimalistic layout. So there's no header, no footer on template one. You could apply that to one course, but then template two could apply to a different course. And that does include the header and footer. We'll do a demo of distraction free learning and creating that kind of setup with templates in a few minutes here but there's also template parts which would be like the header the footer the comment section these are certain components that go into other templates like you know the header a lot of pages use a header a lot of pages use a footer and a lot of pages use comments and so you can also modify the structure of these parts with blocks as well i guess chris does that kind of give you a high level overview of how the uh, template system in wordpress works yeah absolutely and next up i'm just going to show you uh, let me get my screen going here. I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, what SkyPilot is, and then we're going to keep going more and more in depth of a, of a live demo here. So this is on the Lifter LMS website. It's just lifterlms.com forward slash product forward slash sky dash pilot. We'll put a link to that in the chat. Um, but really... I can't state enough how cool it is to have a theme that's built exclusively for learning management system websites. You know, I love, there's a lot of great themes out there that are multi-purpose themes um, that are fantastic. But like, think about using a product that's built specifically for your use case. So some examples of how we think about this with uh, e-learning is you want a simple website you like all the fancy bells and whistles that, you know, create flashy design and stuff like that. It can be cool and you can use that on an e-learning website, but particularly once you get inside the courses and the lessons, uh, it's important to, you know, kind of put the focus on the learning. So there's SkyPilot has a minimalistic design with lots of white space that you can really put the focus on the content of the lesson, the quizzes, the dashboard, these things, 
Uh, it, it makes the, the core, the way the courses look and the way the course navigation and uh, the way the student dashboard looks, uh, it makes it all look beautiful and intuitive because a learning management system platform is not the most simple website. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of structure to courses and lessons and quizzes and student experience. So SkyPilot is built exclusively to, to you know, accommodate what needs to happen during a learning experience on your website. So I'm super excited about that. Um, the other thing is is to leverage modern WordPress. So uh, SkyPilot embraces full site editing and uh, you know the blocks, the block based way of doing things on the cutting edge of, of WordPress. So as um, time goes on, we're watching more and more people shift over into understanding full site editing. SkyPilot's actually a great opportunity to learn it. I know 10 times more about full site editing now than I did a month ago because I've been playing around with SkyPilot and I'm falling in love with it in terms of what full site editing can do. And you get a lot of performance upgrades. Um, your site gets faster when you can, you know, kind of do more with less with a nice streamlined LMS site that has modern WordPress and SkyPilot. Um, and then the, the other thing is just really the beauty of it all. Um, we, we put a lot of design work into making SkyPilot um, present well, make your courses look well, make the student dashboard look awesome. Uh, so we worked with uh, a couple of different groups of outside designers before any code was written to optimize the SkyPilot design for, for modern e-learning. So uh, we're going to look at all that in a second, but I just wanted to uh, kind of go over that stuff. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go ahead and shift gears. And now let's, let's get into the actual demo. I know we've been talking for, <laughs> for a little bit, just talking head, but like, let's look at all this stuff now that we have a, uh, a framework here for kind of understanding where we're coming from. So I'm gonna pull up a site here. And again, you can get the exact site that I'm going to share with you uh, by getting the Lifter LMS demo site. So there's there's links to that in the chat. I'm just on one of those showing you what I'm looking at. But this is what SkyPilot looks like. You can see how beautiful the courses look. This user is logged in, so you can see, uh, you know, the progress data is in there. Um, Super powerful. Uh, we're just using this site is just using plain WordPress and SkyPilot, like building out these testimonials, just using base WordPress um, without any other additional plugins or anything. Uh, and then just to jump around a little bit, here's like the all courses page. So if you want to see the full course catalog, you can see how gorgeous these these courses look. Um, you know, if we jump into one, you can see like, if we jump into financial independence, retire early, you can see this gorgeous design of how the courses lay out. We've got the lesson navigation over here. You can see with these checks, uh, which lesson my user has completed uh, and, and really jump into all the lesson content. We've got the memberships as well and the membership catalog here, you know, looking at a specific membership here. So if you wanna do a thing where you have multiple courses and they're all bundled in one membership and do kind of the academy thing or a coaching program that has lots of courses and other things, you can do that through Lifter LMS memberships. We've also got our groups, which are ways of offering training at scale and to groups, whether that's a business, a school, a family, or really any kind of organization. Uh, SkyPilot, we've also got some updates rolling out soon with all our social learning uh, area, which we'll, we'll look at in a little bit. The dashboard is particularly um, well laid out. So everything that you need is here for your, your uh, students, student dashboard. 
Um, th so that's all here. We've we've upgraded the design when it comes to. Uh, let's see. Let's jump in here. The design. Oh no, orders here. Maybe let's do the migrades. So you can see just a nice clean layout uh, as a student drills into their dashboard and sees how, sees how they're doing and uh, all that has been designed with SkyPilot to be super modern and awesome. Um, and then I'm going to hand it over to Will. So that's just like a, a lightning tour. We didn't touch on everything under the sun, but if Will, you want to take us on more of a back end, a WP admin tour of uh, SkyPilot. Let's let's put a visual to the templates and the template parts and what people can do with them. Absolutely. So one thing I want to demonstrate here, I'll share my screen, share window, share this window. Awesome. So this is uh, the template site we're working on. And like Chris said, you can get a template just like this for $1 that we host for you. Um, and you can play around in the back end just like what we're doing here. If you want to see if you can create your setup, this is a great place to do it. So this is the front end of the demo site. Let's head back to the WordPress admin, the admin that we're all familiar with, and take a look at some of the new features in the back end of the site editor. So of course, everything's the same inside of Lifter LMS where we have our courses list and our memberships and everything. But really what the SkyPilot theme adds that's super unique uh, with the full site editor is under appearance, we have a new area called editor and you might notice that customize is missing here. Customize appearance, customize is something that we are used to seeing in a lot of themes like Astra and cadence and, and even like lifter LMS themes where we can change the settings and layouts for pages, posts and all that kind of stuff. And now we have the editor instead. So if I launch this editor, we'll take a look at this new interface. And like we were talking about before, we have templates and template parts over here on the left. And on the right hand side, we have a preview of what my page is going to look like. And so if I jump over to templates, let's just scroll through it and take a look at what we have. We have a 404 page archive product catalog. We've got a few taxonomy things we could customize, but really what we're going to be looking at in Lifter LMS is single course and single lesson. So if I click on maybe single lesson, for example, I can edit this template and let me open up this navigator up here at the top or list view. This is super useful for me. It shows me the structure of what's going on on the page. I can see I have a header with a group and a row. I've got what's in this row, a site title and a navigation. And then I have a couple of buttons for login and the dashboard. So it kind of shows me the hierarchy of what's going on here in my header. And then here I have a group that contains my post title and post content. So this editor or list view is super useful for understanding what's going on in the back end of a full site editing website. And let's take a look at a very popular example, which is distraction free learning. It's a very common feature request to remove the header and footer from lessons to create a distraction free learning setup. I'm going to jump back over to my WordPress admin real quick, jump back out and we'll open up two tabs, open up my courses tab. And then we'll take a look at one of my lessons. If I view, I can see the course layout here. It looks pretty nice. But what if I wanted to help users focus in on the content on my lesson and remove some distractions like the sidebar, the header, and the footer? We can see on my example, I already don't have a sidebar on my lesson. But I can also remove that header and footer by heading to Appearance Editor. And then we'll edit a template. And that template I want to edit is the single lesson template. And I could edit it here. But another option I have is I could even create a new template. This is something Chris touched on earlier and we'll show here. If I click this little plus button up here at the top, I could create a custom template. And this, this is a super awesome uh, way to be able to do this. So we'll say custom lesson template, uh, distraction free. Spell that correctly this template and then let's modify my template here so in this template i want to have my post content but i don't want to have a header and footer so i'm going to remove my header and footer so we'll just have our post title and content we'll save that up here in the right hand corner and then if i were to edit this lesson 
I don't think I need to create a lesson template specifically, but let's make sure. There we go. So on this lesson specifically, my lesson with quiz, I can select the template. It's currently using that single lesson template that we saw earlier, but I want to use the distraction free template here. So I'll select my distraction free template and update that. And then if I view the lesson, we will no longer have the header and footer, just the uh, content that I defined here in my custom template. So that's a quick demo of how distraction free learning works. Hopefully that makes sense for what I did. Let me recap that real quick. Basically what I did is create a custom template and that custom template should be here on my list. There it is. Custom lesson template for distraction free learning. So now I have two lesson templates. One of them is the default and one of them is distraction free. And on a lesson level individually, I could decide which lessons have this distraction free template. And so you might be asking the question, wait, do we have to do this one by one on each lesson? I have to click edit and select the template for that lesson. Uh, the short answer is yes, but there is a shortcut that we can do the entire course at once by going to courses, lessons. We have the lesson list of all the lessons on our website and I can filter by course. So maybe I want my business budgeting course to use the distraction free template on all of the lessons. I can filter my lesson list to only show items in the business budgeting course. And then I can bulk edit and then apply a template, distraction free learning to the business budgeting course in one swoop. So it's going to go through each of the lessons and fix it up for me. So my business budgeting course is now going to be using this distraction free template that I just created. And it, throughout this entire process of creating a distraction free template and applying it to this course, I didn't have to write a single line of code which is really where that power comes in of leveraging SkyPilot and the full site editor. But hopefully that gives you a little sneak peek of what you can do with this editor and you could get creative with a lot more solutions around courses and uh, lessons within Lifter. That's awesome. Thanks for that, Will. I wanna kind of give you some more examples of sites using SkyPilot that you can look at. So if you look in the chat, um, well, let me share my screen there first. So this is the Lifter LMS Academy. That's at academy.lifterlms.com. I'm also putting a, a link to this if you want to go look at it right now in the comments. So if you look around this video, wherever you're watching it, you'll see a link to go there. But this is the Lifter LMS Academy site. And at Lifter LMS, we you actually use the products we make. <laughs> I know that sounds funny to say, but uh, we are big users of our own software. Uh, we use, for example, this official quick start course for Lifter LMS is one of the main ways we teach people how to use Lifter LMS. We're going to be doing a big update to the content in here soon and, and, and making it even better. Um, but this is our, this is our Academy site. Uh, this is all built with just Lifter LMS, WordPress and SkyPilot. So check that out. Um, it, and if I jump to a specific course like let me jump over here to the quick start course you can see uh just a beautiful example this is a free course so you know we don't have any um paid access but you can see how beautiful it lays out you know we can jump into the lesson content and um see an example of that so the academy is a great place to go enroll in this free quick start course for lifter lms if you have not um done that yet uh first of all it'll teach you how to use the tool um but it's also just a great demonstration of what SkyPilot looks like and i'm gonna show uh, another screen for you here we also have a paid course called the or i'm sorry it's not a paid course it's a um it's a challenge so the six figure course plan challenge so this is a five-day challenge we have of course, it's powered by Lifter LMS, but it shows you how in one hour a day you can come up with a, a plan over the course of five days to set you up for success with your online course project. If you haven't uh, taken this challenge yet, it's free. Um, it'll really help you increase you or your clients odds of success uh, with whatever you're trying to do with your course and get your first course launched. I'm sharing this because this is an example of a more traditional course sales page that's just built with uh, SkyPilot and native WordPress and it looks great. So that's just another example there. Um, 
And then, yeah, I'm going to hand it over uh, to Kurt to take us on a journey through some other ways to think about using SkyPilot. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Um, Chris had just pointed out that you could use the, um, you know, kind of the platform as like a challenge platform, but we have different solutions or use cases that we find we have a lot of success with these platforms. And so right out of the shoots, uh, we want to talk to experts. So <clears throat> people that, um, you know, need to monetize their expertise, have a course that they want to sell. Uh, I, I hit this target market a lot when I talk on LinkedIn, when I talk about all the layoffs and stuff and, and about how everybody's got room for a course in their brain. And then this is a great way to get that side hustle started, right? So a great way to monetize your expertise. Another way is for schools. Um, the idea that schools need to have some kind of huge, you know, bloated custom application on some other operating system to run their courses and manage their students uh, is a complete misnomer. Uh, years ago, I came to, to Lifter LMS from the corporate arena. And, and that's how I became someone on Lifter is I used it with very large audiences for corporate purposes, similar to how a school would use the program. And then, of course, we're talking about companies. Um, a lot of what we talk about has to do with like selling courses or being a course creator or generating revenue from your courses. Uh, but keep in mind, if you're a company, maybe you've got a captive audience. Maybe you've got employees that you need to onboard or technicians that you need to train or different processes uh, that are part of your business. It's not always about selling the course. Sometimes it's about accessibility and making sure that your team can get there. And, you know, you could build something on a subdomain to your main website and just train your people remotely. And in a day of remote work, it doesn't make a lot of sense to tell people they've got to come to the office for training when you could train them remotely with a really cool tool like this. And then lastly, agencies. Agencies is a sweet spot for me. Uh, we have a custom URL for folks to, to come join us with an agency talk. That's lifterlms.com forward slash agency. I'll put that in the chat when I'm done talking here. But folks, if you are running an agency and you're building training sites for other people to use or to monetize or to put things together, I encourage you to reach out through that link I'll put in chat. Uh, this is a fantabulous platform to be able to help people build their courses, sell their courses, market their courses and, and keep things moving. So, uh, I encourage you to reach out to us for agency usage, especially we've got some great deals to get you going on that. Awesome. And I just wanted to read out a comment I saw when we first dropped sky pilot. Uh, this was somebody, this is how a lot of people think, and I've just heard different variations of this. So I just want to share it which is uh, amazing. I tried SkyPilot and I love it. It's time to start building sites using Gutenberg and, and transition away from Elementor. I still need time to learn it though and find the best Gutenberg extensions instead of my beloved Elementor ones. So that's just something we see out in the market. Uh, Elementor is a great, great, Elementor is a great tool. I don't see it going away. I think we can all coexist, um, but I see a lot of people experimenting with and, uh, you know, just try getting more into Gutenberg when a theme like SkyPilot makes it accessible and makes it look good. Um, and also like to, I heard something similar from Susan, who's on this call, I believe. She mentioned something similar. She's, uh, you know, she likes the design of SkyPilot and, you know, she's still using Elementor on certain pages like the homepage and certain landing pages and everything, but uses more of just plain sky pilot without Elementor um, in, in uh, the LMS parts of the website. So you can use both and it's okay. I also want to remind everybody, this is an interactive session. We're getting some questions in the chat, but if, as you're watching this, wherever you're watching this, if you have a question about sky pilot, about full site editing, about the block editor or Gutenberg, go ahead and uh, just drop a question or comment in the chat. I'm also going to hand it over to Kurt here because he was one of the, you know, when we first launched SkyPilot, Kurt was like, I'm going. And he switched some of his sites, to his personal sites to SkyPilot. And I just wanted you, Kurt, to share your story of what it was like, you know, trying on SkyPilot, getting into full site editing. How did that go for you? 
I think you're muted, Kurt. Sorry. Uh, it's Weed Whacker Wednesday outside. So um, for me, using Skype Pilot was just a matter of perfect timing. Uh, I was in the middle of migrating a bunch of websites from one host to another. And uh, this one site, the Power Sport Academy of mine, it just didn't want to migrate. And I thought I could spend days trying to figure out how to complete this migration or I am pretty quick at building websites. I could just rebuild this website. So uh, Chris was nice enough to give me a pre-release version of SkyPilot. And I this is pretty much out of the box on SkyPilot. Uh, I went ahead and did the website with this. I wanted to get that user experience of using it just as the SkyPilot theme. So I used very similar uh, images here for my featured images. I've got my memberships in place. I've got a whole course catalog. Again, I, you know, stayed consistent with my imaging um, and everything aligned really well. Like the way that the cards have the drop shadows and give that 3D appearance and the modern uh, part of the website. Chris in the uh, chat had made comment about how uh, the design of the website seems to be expressed for accessibility. Um, and that's part of that. It's, it's like just making that that high contrast area makes it really bright and, and really open. Um, the other site that I did, Chris, was my own Manana Nomas website. And this was kind of a different, a different exercise for me. What I wanted to do here specifically was I wanted to try a new block builder called Maxi Blocks. And I wanted to try and put Maxi Blocks over the Sky Pilot theme to make sure that, you know, integration wise, everything worked, that there were no flaws, that, that it was kind of a smooth user experience. Um, only one thing that, that really seemed to be any kind of a hiccup at all is uh, Maxi Blocks works really in two different ways. And it's a brand new product. So Maxi Blocks has only been out a couple of weeks, but they have a block menu and then they have a template menu. If you design a page like this home page is kind of off of their template menu. So if I go into the site editor and I make any uh, changes to the header, I lose the formatting of my homepage. It's kind of like when you work in Elementor and you lose the formatting in Elementor and you have to go resave something. Um, so it's like that. But other places in the site, I went ahead and used just their blocks without using the actual uh, template pages. And with that, the blocks work really smoothly. You just import the blocks that you want to use, like this pricing table, for example, and the rest of the theme holds everything perfect. So if I want to go and edit this page now, I just go in edit page and I use the maxi blocks menu just from a blocks perspective rather than a template menu, if that if I explain that right. But um, that's the difference between using something that's completely blocks and something that is integrated with a builder. So I've had a really good experience in both. And I think both websites turned out really well. Time will tell. That's awesome. Uh and I, I just want to throw out there sort of that idea that Kurt's talking about of you can still add on top of SkyPilot. So instead of adding uh, a full on page builder, as an example, what about just a blocks plugin or and there's lots of blocks plugins out there that do different things. So in some ways, um, you know, if you haven't explored the world of all the block plugins out there, you can you can add those to add even more options to your site, or you can keep it super simple and just stick with WordPress, SkyPilot, and Lift LMS. But if you want to expand in complexity, it's scalable or extendable in that way. I also want to give a shout out to uh, the designers that helped design Lyft, the new SkyPilot theme and, and some other parts of the Lift LMS interface. There's a wonderful designer uh, in the WordPress product community. His name is Matthew Bumby. His agency is called Prodigy Park. He did a lot of great design for SkyPilot as well as the enterprise WordPress uh, agency, WebDev Studios. They did some great work helping flesh out um, the design that we could build into. And of course, I want to highlight the Lifter LMS team and engineers who helped bring all this to life. Um, it was a lot of uh, a lot of heads came together to make Sky Pilot what it is. Um, so thanks to all, thanks to the designers and the and the Lifter LMS team out there. Uh, and I, I can see some questions coming in. Keep the questions coming. We're almost to the Q and A part. 
but I'm going to flip it back over to you, Kurt, just if to go over if, hey, you're interested in, in SkyPilot, um, what, what should somebody do? I think you're muted, Kurt. I, I was getting there. I, and I was saying, hold on, I'm muted. <laughs> so uh, first things first, uh, there's actually a page that is dedicated to the SkyPilot theme inside Lifter LMS. So if you go to lifterlms.com forward slash product forward slash SkyPilot, I'm sure that link will miraculously show up in comments here shortly. Uh, but we have a full dedicated page to it. And so it gives you an idea of you know, the benefits, the screenshots, the details, uh, use cases, how to leverage the modern WordPress environment. Um, earlier in the comments, one of the comments was, hey, Will, can you slow down? Um, when we do these kinds of uh, webinars, you know, time is limited. But keep in mind that Will and I do a live call every Thursday. And so for folks that are new to Lifter or, or are new to designing at this level, uh, you can jump on that call with us. We do a lot of screen shares and a lot of coaching, so, so you can catch up there. But like I said, SkyPilot's got its own page and everything is, is laid out uh, very plainly there. But if you're interested in how to save money with SkyPilot, uh, you might want to take a look at our bundles. And so you can buy SkyPilot individually, or if you were coming to Lifter LMS and wanting to do the universe bundle, the SkyPilot theme is included in the universe bundle. And of course it's included in the infinity bundle as well. Last but not least, uh, if you wanna you know, hop in and, and test drive this thing before you buy it, uh, you can jump right in and do lifterlms.com forward slash try. Uh, that'll get you the $1 30 day trial. And that is a full blown example of Lifter LMS that Lifter LMS hosts for you and it comes completely populated. So you don't have to worry about building the site to try it out. You get it fully built, you jump into the back end, you do everything you can to break it because after all, it just cost a buck and, uh, and you get to really try it out. And then if you have any questions about that, you can jump on one of those live calls with Will and I on Thursdays and we can hash things out. Awesome. Thanks for that, Kurt. No worries. Um, and check out our pricing page if you if you want um, like a certain number of sites for your license, like unlimited that comes with the infinity bundle. Um, Universe bundle has several sites and also the bigger bundle you get, the more support contacts who you can have on your account that contact Lifter LMS support. And I do want to highlight one of the crown jewels of Lifter LMS, <laughs> which is the office hours mastermind call that happens uh, uh, on uh, typically Thursdays around 4 p.m. Eastern, um, which is a benefit of the highest plan, the Infinity Bundle. So if you like uh, to jump on a call with other power users, with Lifter LMS team members, get support, get strategy help, enjoy some good company, that's a great benefit of the Infinity Bundle. And I'd also just encourage you to try before you buy, Ch check out the $1 demo. We do have 100% customer happiness refund policy so uh you know that's always there you can try it if you don't like it just contact us and we'll get 100 percent of your money back and another question we get a lot is if uh what if i want to get sky pilot now and then maybe get the universe bundle or the infinity bundle later you can absolutely do that we do a prorated upgrade so uh that's there for you and you get credit uh, for the value of your existing license. So a lot of people, you know, start with one thing and then over time as they get more excited or start wanting to use more tools, th there's an upgrade path for you. So you don't have to figure that all out on your first purchase. Um, so I just want to remind everybody, we are doing a giveaway. So if you're live, um, right after the Q and a, we're going to, uh, I'm going to ask you a question. And then you'll put it something in the chat, which identifies you as being live on the call. And then uh, one of you is going to, lucky winners is going to win a free Sky Pilot license. Um, but I'm going to hand it over to Will to take the, uh, to moderate the Q&A. And if you have questions, now is the time. Put them in a comment wherever you're watching this video and we will get to all the questions. So over to you, Will. Awesome, thank you, Chris. So I guess first question, Kurt answered this one in chat, but time for call tomorrow, like Kurt said, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, myself and Kurt will be live for an hour. 
answering questions here in the same format. We're not going to be doing any presentations. We'll just be live answering any questions that come up. So 11 a.m. Pacific time um, will be live on YouTube. I usually send out an email with a link to our YouTube. We'll be live on Facebook, LinkedIn, all the platforms we're live on now. Um, so check that out, the Lifter LMS YouTube channel. If you subscribe and click the notification bell, you'll get a notification when we're live tomorrow. Um, and the next question we had was, I have a very basic website with a stock theme. Is it best for me to install SkyPilot and switch um, to it like, a, like any theme switch would go? Or should I rebuild the site um, from the ground up with uh, the new SkyPilot theme? So that, that could go a few different ways. Um, I, I guess, I don't know, Kurt, Chris, do you have any input on, uh, I know Kurt, you do a ton of migrations, a ton of switches from uh, themes and migrations from different platforms, WordPress to WordPress, Kajabi to WordPress, all kinds of variations. Do you have any input on switching from another theme to SkyPilot? Uh, well, the key here in this question is it's a very basic website. And so if it really is basic and the traffic is low and there's there's nothing really to worry about, install the theme, activate it, jump in, take a look at what you got, adjust what you need to adjust, you know, and then maybe put out a mass email that just announces the new look and feel of your beautiful new website. Um, however, if you are any more involved than that, uh, I would recommend doing a staging site. And so a staging site is really just uh, a duplicate of your website that's on a separate kind of file inside your host. And you can do anything you want to the staging site. And then when the staging site is exactly the way you want it, you just push that to production. Uh, a lot of hosts have that ability and a lot of them have simplified it to like a one-click thing to have a, a staging site. And so I would recommend if you have uh, a lot of users, if you have a lot of content, if you um, have any kind of traffic coming through your website, sometimes it's best to build in private and then launch it when it's really ready. Um, it just depends on your use case. I'll just throw a, a, a few more points on there instead because I recently uh, went through this. Let me see if my get my screen back up there. So I recently, we switched our demo site template here that you can get a version of if you want to see SkyPilot. This was previously powered by the Cadence theme and it had Cadence blocks on it. And it took us about a day to just... Uh, switch all the Cadence blocks over to native WordPress uh, blocks. And we could have left Cadence blocks in there, but we decided to just demo a more minimal version of just using Lifter LMS, SkyPilot, and WordPress. Um, and then we just went through and then we tightened up all our content and spent some time just, just playing around in the block editor, uh, making it look good with SkyPilot and lifter and WordPress and that's it. And then so it, we switched off of cadence and cadence blocks. So that's, that's what it was like for us when we, we made the switch here on our website. And we actually did that several times also with our podcast website, which is now powered by only sky pilot, our internal training team site, which is now only powered by sky pilot. So yeah, that's a, just a, sharing another perspective on that. Yeah, and at Lifter LMS, we have a pretty big website with a lot of pages, a lot of blog posts, and a lot of stuff going on. And we were evaluating the whole process of how are we going to migrate this thing to a new theme because we've got a lot going on. And we ended up like mapping out what we can do, the capacity with our team, and setting aside some time and just doing the switch it and then fix um, fix the pages as we go uh, kind of layout, which uh, didn't go too poorly because we had the whole team in, in sync on that. And we had a pretty big website and it went successfully. So, um, yeah, that was an, an awesome project. Um, this is another uh, good question that came up on a similar topic. We use Divi as a theme for our site. How can we use SkyPilot for just the Lifter LMS content? I'm not aware of how that would work. Um, so the Divi suite includes the Divi um, a page builder plugin, but also the theme includes the builder inside of it. So my recommendation, like Kurt said, was to create a staging website. Creating a staging website is a super valuable tool. And then you could try activating the Divi Builder and, and then deactivating the Divi theme and then adding the SkyPilot theme. So you have the Divi Builder plugin and the SkyPilot theme on the same website. And theoretically, your website should look exactly the same. Maybe the header and footer might look a little bit different. Um, but then you could sort of uh, check out what that looks like with the Builder plugin plus the SkyPilot theme, and then slowly change pages over if you wanted to make your um, 
home page with the Divi Builder, but then you wanted to make your course pages with the uh, Sky Pilot Builder, that would be my recommendation for an experiment. I don't know, Kirk, Chris, do you have any other input or ideas about using a page builder like Divi with the Sky Pilot theme? Uh, just to be, to, you know, it's WordPress and there's nine different ways to do everything, right? Um, he could put the LMS content on a subdomain and then he could build any, anything he wants in the subdomain on SkyPilot and then still leave the Divi theme, Divi page builder and all that in the main site. So that might be an easier pathway to get to what he wants. Again, use case, right? So how do they want to architect their SEO and all the other stuff that comes into managing a large project? Right. For sure. Yeah, and I would just add there's a blank template that you can use to, you know, easily launch a page builder on top of a, a SkyPilot page. Yeah. For sure. Let's see what other questions we have coming in here. So, oh yeah, there's there's one using Moodle uh, for ten years. I know Kurt, you <laughs> have a lot of experience with Moodle. Um, do you have any like um, insight or comments about you know your experience with WordPress over the last few years or like 10 years versus like the, the Moodle setup that was like 2005 to 2015. Yeah. And, and what so many people don't realize that are in the Moodle environment is a lot of these custom LMSs that they're paying more than six figures to have developed are based on Moodle. Right. So there's like so it's part of a lot of things that people aren't even aware of. Uh, it's strong. It's powerful. It's a great LMS. I'm not going to say that it's not. It's just the user experience was painful for both me and my students. It wasn't it wasn't super intuitive. The menus weren't super intuitive. And a lot of what those Moodle customization houses are providing is a simplification of access to different tools, right? So it's more like reskinning the tool to make it more user experience oriented. Um, but that's what attracted me to WordPress because with WordPress, I was able to build something for, uh, you know, just a fraction of the investment and have all of the advantages of the membership and the learning tools and all that stuff in one site and the user experience that matched what I needed. I'll take this uh, question about WooCommerce here. Um, Helma, we have a, uh, does, does SkyPilot work well with WooCommerce? Absolutely. Because Lyft LMS has a WooCommerce integration, uh, we have, we designed uh, WooCommerce design into the SkyPilot theme. So, and just to give you some visuals on what that looks like, um, I've got a, uh, probably the best place to look right now is the, uh, the product page on our website for SkyPilot here. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the screenshots here. So there's a lot of great ones in here. The last ones are from um, uh, WooCommerce. So we'll, we'll jump through to that. So this is a, uh, you know, the WooCommerce product page, and then uh, we've got the WooCommerce catalog, and that's, those are just a couple screenshots. I don't have a full-on SkyPilot WooCommerce demo set up, but just wanted to share with you that yeah, out of the box, SkyPilot's going to look great on top of WooCommerce. Awesome, awesome, and. Another good question that came up is Elementor. What does it do? So I guess we, we've talked about page builders and migrating from a page builder to SkyPilot and what the benefits are, are of using a page builder alongside SkyPilot. I, this is more of an opinion question. I guess I want to pass off to you, Kurt and Chris, about if you were new building a website from scratch, would you add a page builder plus SkyPilot or would you try to do it with just SkyPilot and WordPress out of the box? For me, I would just say, I if I'm building new, I'm going to go minimalist. So I would go just WordPress, SkyPilot, and uh, I, I might I may look for a certain block plugin if I wanted some niche feature or or gizmo on my site before installing a full on page builder solution. Yeah, for me, it's a little more involved because customers get involved. It's when I build my own projects, uh, like the Manana Nomas example, I, I told you that I, I put that on, on top of a page builder. I wanted to see how that would work, right? And then the PowerSport Academy, I built just straight, you know, um, 
sky pilot and that was it right out of the box and so to me uh, with chris i think simple is the way to go uh will and i talk about this almost weekly when we're doing these live calls we talk about simplicity and minimal viable products to get our stuff out but i also run an agency and when customers get involved things get muddy and a lot of people want i want to move this 10 pixels this way i want this 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 size i want this font to be this way i want this to go and, and in those cases i end up reverting back to my crutch which is elementor and uh and customizing things on elementor yeah and it sounds like uh susan who's a popular member of our community uh who does a similar role of building sites for clients uh does the same thing with elementor uh plus lifter lms sky pilot for uh those more advanced customizations and i really only use elementor now for most that's the really cool feature I love about Elementor that Gutenberg doesn't have yet, which is where like when you scroll down the page or in, hover over an item, it'll move and stuff. That's that's kind of the uh, feature I like about Elementor still. But yeah. let's see. Um, I, I think it's it, uh, in, in addition to that question, it's also I think it's super important and almost negligent if we don't mention it. And that's like once WordPress 6.2 came out and the full site editor and site editing and all that stuff became more, we can see that WordPress is making leaps and bounds in this area. And that if you tried it six months ago or nine months ago, it's completely different now. So if you have a block oriented theme, it's one of those where you need to go back and revisit that and then see if that's a way that you would like to proceed. Because uh, my, my opinion's definitely changed in the last three months. Cool. We have a few questions left here. Um, thanks for the answer. Kurt, the next queue, are there any tutorials or documentation in development for SkyPilot, or is it simply intuitive enough for someone to use? I know we've been producing a few tutorials on using Lifter SkyPilot. We don't have, I don't think we have a full site build yet in SkyPilot. Um, it was super intuitive for me. Do you have any insight for beginners on getting started with SkyPilot as a, um, a beginner theme? Is it intuitive, easy to use? I found it personally intuitive and, and really you're not just learning SkyPilot, you're learning how to do full site editing in WordPress. So going to that, to me, what really helped me was to give myself permission to spend a whole afternoon just playing around with uh, the full site editor, the appearance editor part of the website, figuring out how all that works, watching a few YouTube videos about full site editing, and then it just really clicked for me. So. Uh, we do have some SkyPilot documentation on our site. I'll put a, a link to that uh, in the chat in a moment. But also uh, check out our YouTube channel, our lives. We do a lot of lives. Like, for example, we have a segment on YouTube called Feature Friday. The past uh, several of those, we've been demoing stuff related to SkyPilot. So that's also a great resource to check out. Yeah. In this particular call, the things that Will had demonstrated, and it's really a tutorial on WordPress, not SkyPilot, but that navigation menu that's at the upper left of the edit screen, that is like the key to unlock access to blocks within blocks and nestled blocks. Like if you use the navigator that, that Will pointed out, that is a tremendous clue. And then anything that you open with the navigator tends to have settings on the right side sidebar to make adjustments to. And so that's the, you're kind of ping-ponging back and forth across your screen. Um, again, that's more of a WordPress, uh, you know, pro tip, not so much a SkyPilot pro tip, but that is the part of making it really intuitive is to understand that and then everything comes together. Awesome, awesome. And this is a pretty quick question from Ronaldo in chat. Uh, will there be a recording of the call? And like Chris said at the at very beginning of the call, there will be a recording going out to everyone who registered. And I think this will also be up on YouTube as well as a replay once we end here. So there will be a replay available uh, to check out the SkyPilot awesomeness we were diving into. And this is a general Lifter LMS question. Um, what hours do you offer support for customers, especially for those outside of the US? Um, at Lifter LMS, we have an email system. You can hit us up, help at lifterlms.com at any time. And we have uh, our team just processing that inbox uh, kind of every day. We have some team members in there working through that inbox for support. And then uh, myself and Kurt are live on Thursdays, 11 a.m. Pacific time. And sometimes we hit another day during the week too, where we're live answering questions. That's usually more of a, I guess, a US uh, hemisphere sort of time where we're 11 a.m. Pacific. Um, and then 
Um, other avenues for support, we have a Facebook group with a thriving community, especially for the Office Hours Facebook group and our um, a general Lifter LMS Facebook group where we have users helping out each other, answering questions, posting screenshots and videos, just uh, helping each other figure it out. So that's a great resource as well. The Facebook group, the email, and then our live calls are a, a terrific resource for, um, for support with Lifter, as well as our YouTube channel and Google, which has a wealth of information about Lifter LMS. And uh, I'm always on Google, like looking up stuff about WordPress or Lifter, um, trying to find documentation and all that kind of stuff. Um, so check those out. Another question, uh, can I assume Scott Pilot is mobile friendly? I'll pass that off to uh, you or Kurt or Chris. I haven't deployed Scott Pilot on one of my websites yet. Have you, I know you guys have deployed it on a few websites. Have you experienced any mobile issues? Or is it? It's great. I would encourage you to like go to academy.lifterlms.com on your phone. Take take the free quick start course for Lifter LMS and see what it's like on the on the mobile. But yeah, part of being modern and cutting edge is the, um, you know, of course we're going to be mobile responsive and uh, ready to go in that department. Cool. cool. Um, and here's another question: Do we still need to be worried about child theming? with an LMS theme. So there are a few different examples of child themes. Usually I work with child themes in the context of putting custom PHP code or custom CSS code into my child theme. So I would still use a child theme if you're deploying any custom PHP or any custom CSS. But other than that, I can't really think of a use for a child theme. If you're just you working with the tools out of the box, no code, then there's not really a need for a child theme. And for anyone who doesn't know what a child theme is, a child theme is sort of a, a theme that sits in your a WordPress themes area and it references another theme. So you might have a SkyPilot child theme. So it's basically referencing the SkyPilot theme for all the settings and everything, but then you can add code to your child theme. And the reason you'd add code to a child theme instead of adding it to your main theme is that when you update your main theme, all your, like, so when SkyPilot releases version 1.0.2, you click that update button, it's going to give you all the new code for SkyPilot and all your custom code that you added is just going to be missing because, of course, it just overwrote the code in the update. So that's where the child theme comes into play. It's referencing SkyPilot for all the settings, but your child theme never updates, so your code will stay throughout updates. I don't know. Uh, I know Divi has a big culture of child themes where people will write a child theme that has some custom functions and custom styling, and then you can add that to your website. But currently, there aren't a lot of child themes for SkyPilot, but yeah, then um, this is another question we had. Can you touch on the key benefits of this version versus the free version? So I guess that I'll kind of rephrase this question a little bit. Why would someone want to use the uh, premium add-ons from Lifter LMS and the SkyPilot theme versus the free version? Or when would someone want to use the free core plugin in Lifter LMS versus checking out something like SkyPilot? or any of the bundles on our website for upgrading their LMS suite. Pass that off to Chris or Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll, Kurt. I'll take this one. Uh, if we go back to the solutions page and the use cases I was talking about, um, if I am a corporation that wants to just put, you know, some onboarding lessons or some courses inside an existing site with an existing template that's mandated by corporate that has to, and I'm not selling or I'm not actively promoting those courses, I really don't care about the appearance. I mean, I hate to make, sound it, make it sound so black, but um, you know, in, in that instance, it's really function over form. And so I really just want the courses available to my employees. So I want the membership tools and I want the course tools. And that's a perfect use case for the free core plugin to be able to just plug in, manage my students, give me reporting, show if people passed or failed their courses and issue certificates if that's required. And all of that can be done in the free core plugin. However, if I'm an expert or a marketer or anything else in that use case solutions page, I probably want to take a look at what's it look like to add e-commerce, a payment gateway, uh, connection to a CRM tool so that I can market and send out emails and newsletters. And then of course, appearance, uh, which is what the focus of this session is all about with our SkyPilot theme becomes important. So it's really just use case and how you want to grow your project. I'll just add to that, that when people get started, you can always upgrade later. So I think some people are just kind of blown away when they're using the free 
version of Lifter LMS that like, oh my gosh, this is what we give away for free is in many ways a lot more than what other companies will charge you. So check out the free core Lifter LMS plugin. Sometimes it's it, there's like one thing that people get to and they're like, oh yeah, I think I might, I think I'm ready for this add-on. Maybe you want to sell. So you get our Stripe add-on or our PayPal add-on. Maybe you want to upgrade the design to look like we've shown you here today. Then maybe it makes sense to get Edge into SkyPilot into a premium theme. Or maybe it's an advanced feature like advanced quizzes that introduces like 10 more question types and grading and, and more kind of e-learning advanced features. So it just depends. It's not a one size fits all. There's a lot of components. You can load it all up or just pick and choose what you need. And uh, you also don't have to make that decision all at once. You can just start with a free core plugin and then go from there. Yeah. And from the newbie perspective, I think it's important to note that with Lifter LMS, at no point do you have to remove the plugin and then reinstall a bigger package or remove and install. Everything is kind of like a building block that adds to the other. So the upgrades and the additions are a seamless process. It's not that you have to start over. And Judy said, uh, she's thanks. It's a bit daunting as she's not technical. And I just want to add like, hey, that's what the Lifter LMS Quick Start course is for. So like in 20 minutes, it'll show a non-technical person the five to 10% of Lifter LMS that you need to know about to kind of get things rolling and you're good. So just start there. It's like 20 minutes of learning and maybe an hour of implementation and you got your side up and it's working and you don't have to be a developer or coder to do that. So check out the quick start course. She said she's doing that next. Awesome. I, I would encourage anybody to go check that out if you haven't seen it. We have lots of documentation and support and great resources. The quick start course is like laser focused on that. Let me get the essential set up, so. Yeah, and we also have that uh, WordPress beginners course. So if you're new to WordPress, new to the interface of creating posts and pages in WordPress, we have a free WordPress beginner course over there as well. The quick start course will give you a great rundown on how to create courses and lessons and access plans and memberships and everything inside of Lifter. But there's also some really great knowledge inside of that WordPress fundamentals course uh, that you know helps understand the whole structure of how WordPress works. And that informs how um, how Lifter works as well. And yeah, that, that is on the same academy.lifterlms.com uh, website. I can probably pull up my screen here. Let's see how fast I can do it. There we go. Um, the uh, like browse courses, the one I'm talking about is the, um, we've got the quick start course here for Lifter. And then this is the uh, WordPress beginner essentials masterclass. This one's also super valuable um, and a free course with some great knowledge, just explaining you know, what is Gutenberg, the block editor, how does it work? Um, and then I don't know if that course covers the, I don't think it covers full site editing yet because full site editing is so new. So if you were to check out the WordPress beginner masterclass, the Lifter LMS quick start course, and then one of our videos on YouTube about how Skypilot works, that'll give you a complete understanding of the whole Lifter LMS ecosystem and give you a lot of great tools to work with. Um, but yeah, that's the bottom of our, um, our question queue, or I guess, oh, there's one more. Sorry. Here we go. Uh, I need to find a new web hosting service within two weeks. Do you have one to three recommendations to give me along with the best host for Lifter? That's a good question. I put a link in the chat for John. So we have a page on our website, lifterlms.com forward slash recommended dash resources. The hosting list is at the top. And the way we put that list together is based on what we see people raving about and loving in our community, uh, our own personal testing of various different hosting platforms. So yeah, check out that list. There's something for everybody on there, whether you're budget conscious and just getting started, you know, there's certain ways I'd lean. And then if you're, let's say you're just already up and running, you care, really care a lot about performance and speed and you already have like 20,000 users on your site, and you want like a really uh, more of a higher end web host, there's options for that too and everything in between. So we've, we've collected the best of breed there. So go, go check those out. And I just kind of wanted to summarize for you what makes SkyPilot awesome. It's got the LMS focus. It's modern, it's beautiful. 
you can now design without code. You can customize templates. You can create new ones, um, like the distraction-free learning that Will was demonstrating. Um, so if you if you need more resources or help, just go to our website. We there's a search box at the top in the menu. Uh, we've got tons of stuff there. Uh, we're easy to get a hold of. You can email help at lifterlms.com. Also on the main menu, there's a uh, learn link and you'll see in there a sub menu item called community events that has the schedule of all the live calls we do and all that. Um, so we're here for you. And if you're not in our Facebook group, go jump in there. Just do a search for Lifter LMS on Facebook and you'll find that group. Uh, you can connect with other Lifter LMS users and uh, check that out. And I'm going to hand it over to Will in a sec. We are going to do our giveaway. So one lucky winner who is on this call is going to win a free year of SkyPilot. But what we need you to do is if you are still live on this call right now, not watching a replay, but if you're still live, drop a comment whether you're watching this on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or you're here in StreamYard, or even Discord, or um, it's not Discord, what's it called? Twitch. Mastodon? Twitch. Twitch. <laughs> Twitch. We're simulcasting here with StreamYard. We will see those comments. So just type your uh, your first and last name, and uh, we will we will, you'll be on the list, and we'll do our random generator thing to draw a, uh, a winner so we'll give you uh, about 30 seconds to drop your comment i can see some people typing yep thank you keep keep going keep if you're here with us live add your name and then we will uh we will be drawing a winner i'd also encourage you to go to the sky pilot product page on the lifter lms website it's uh, i'll put a link to that in the chat again but that's, it's got screenshots. It's got the main uh, points of what makes SkyPilot awesome. And if you go to our blog within the past three blog posts or so, you can get a uh, uh, the, the launch post that announced the, the SkyPilot going live. We've also got some really exciting updates coming out to Core Lifter LMS. Uh, and you know, sky pilot is new. It's going to continue to evolve and get better and better. So this is a great time to get in and start using it. Um, we just released a new add on for the, like Kurt was talking about a, a corporation doing internal training. We just launched a new add on called private site. So if you want to lock down your entire LMS like Fort Knox, cause it's just for your company and there's no public web pages at all on the internet about it. That's what private site is about. Um, but kicking it back to Sky Pilot, uh, we've got it. We're going to do our winner. Let me know if you're ready to run the process, Will, or if, or if I need to chat no. some more. Yeah, I see like eight entries, so I'm just going to do random number one through eight. Um, okay. So we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll call out the winner here in just a second. And if your name is called, this is what you do. You email help at lifterlms.com and say, hey, it's me, first name, last name. I won the free year of SkyPilot and we'll set you up with that. So. Uh, cool, yeah, we got it. It was um, number six, Ronaldo Nova. Awesome. Uh, uh, isn't Ronaldo an infinity user? I, I, I think believe. so. Ronaldo's I, with an organization, but Ronaldo might have his other projects. I mean, he was number six. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, that's, that's the unbiased one. <laughs> so. Yeah. If you already have it, Ronaldo, or we'll figure out something to make it work for you. But congratulations, Ronaldo, on winning the Sky Pilot. And yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, if you have more questions, just shoot us an email at help at lifterlms.com. Is there any final uh, words you want to say, Kurt, on for if somebody's on the fence and they're like, I don't know if sky pilots for me or this full site editing thing sounds scary or you know if somebody's like i don't know if i'm ready to buy what what would you say uh to me the simplest thing i can say is you just gotta you just gotta try it 
I mean, honestly, I was a late adopter to the Elementor train, right? I just, I, I put it off and put it off, but I was making sites and I was trying to make all my changes with code. And then I was like, oh, I got to try this Elementor thing. So then Will kind of got me hooked more on Elementor. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then Blocks comes out and, and all the WordPress communities are talking about Blocks and Gutenberg. And I'm like, I just figured out Elementor. Why would I change and go back to doing Blocks? But like I said, after WordPress 6.2 and full site editing and have a note that site editor pop up uh, and then using a, a theme that's built for it, uh, it's, it's, it's different. It's just light, it's easy, uh, it's clean, and uh, it's really intuitive. Awesome. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming. Thank you, Will and Kurt, for helping put this on. And uh, yeah, I'd encourage you, all you folks to just spend a little time learning full site editing play around in that WordPress editor area, take SkyPilot for a test drive, um, check it out. And we're here to support you along the way. So thank you all for coming. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care.